Okay, let's talk about this Go High Level White Label Mobile app. We just got our first app live here on the App Store. Right here, not sure if you can see it, but I've got a lot of thoughts on this whole process, both good and bad. Uh, it's really a mixed bag. I've been getting questions about it, so here it is. I'll have timestamps down below if you want to skip around. First thing I want to let you know is how the pricing works. So if you are on a white label version of Go High Level and you go in to set this app up, it's probably going to cost you something like $79 per month. That being said, you can get that cost down if you are in an agency version of High Level or the SaaS version. You can come into your dashboard and you can go to reselling and you'll see the branded client portal app right here. The lowest cost you can get it down to is $49 because that's what you pay High Level. So if you wanted to resell this, right, like you could have your clients be paying $149, you could have $100 profit. Uh, everything we do here is all internal stuff for my own courses, so I'm not going to upsell myself, so we have it here at $49. Now, if we go into our dashboard here in high level for one of our sub accounts and we go into memberships and we go down here to communities, sub tab, and we go to branded mobile app, we'll see it right here. Now, essentially what this does, if you're not aware, is it puts your high level community inside of a mobile app. And the way that we do things is we have all of our learning inside of our communities so people can just sign up. Then they can download the mobile app, they can access the community, the learning, all in one place on the go, which for the niches that we sell courses in and the business models we use is way better for the customer. Uh, we tend to go for lower ticket subscription based models. Uh, we found after selling multi seven figures and courses, that's the easiest way to keep cash flow and MRR and just have profitability if you're in the right niche. And a lot of what we target our niche sports. So we have the biggest online disc golf academy in the world. Uh, we're launching a pickleball academy here soon. And a lot of the stuff we do, we just makes more sense for people to be able to access on the go. And the app is a great way to do that. Uh, much easier to sell as well. So if you want to do that, you'd come in here, you'd click get started. You'll see your price. You're going to put in your card info. And then what it's going to do uh, is it's going to bring you to this checklist of what you have to do. So you can see right now, uh, this particular app just went live on Apple. We're still waiting for it to be reviewed by Google. And they're going to walk you through this checklist. Now, this part of it is all pretty easy. You're going to go in, you're going to upload some brand assets, you're going to put in some business details, they're going to help you walk, they're going to walk you through it with some basic instructions. If anything's wrong, they'll let you know what's wrong and you can go in and fix it. You will need an Apple and Google developer account. Apple developer account is 99 bucks a year. I think Google is a one-time $25 fee. You will want to set those both up as business accounts, which they do not tell you. So when I initially set those up, it defaults to personal accounts. And then we got to like step six and they were like, oh, wait, we forgot. Uh, it needs to be a business account. So that was annoying. And that brings me to the biggest frustration with this whole process, and that is just the customer experience. Go High Level partners with Go Collab, which is kind of like school. It's like an online community marketplace type thing. And Go Collab's team does the app. I get the feeling that they're hiring very cheap labor overseas. I don't know where Go Collab is uh, located. I have no problem whatsoever with overseas and VA labor. Uh, a lot of them are very capable and very good. But if anyone who's hired VAs or worked with overseas labor knows they're really only as good as the SOPs that you give them and the standard you hold them to. And it just seems like GoCollab does not hold them to a very good standard. So they give these timelines here. And I have found that the timelines they give are super inaccurate. So we submitted this app in December. It should have been done by probably the end of January or mid-January, according to their timeline. We're here and it's March 5th and the Google app is still not done. In fact, they hit me up again. They're like, oh yeah, we need to redo this step five for Google. My communication with them, both via texting them and email has been super poor. It seems like they can't communicate without three to seven day gaps between communication. They're completely unorganized. So at the same time that we had this app go into submission, we also had another app go in for submission. It seems like that app completely got lost in the sauce, even though we've been paying for it, even though I've been reminding them, they're only talking about this app. 
the customer experience just sucks, to be honest with you right now. And I know this is a newer feature. I'm sure it will get better. The process for creating an app is somewhat easy. The cost cannot be beat. We've looked at a lot of other alternatives for apps and to do similar things, we've been quoted 30 to 60 K. So 49 bucks a month, you really can't beat that. The app itself is okay. Uh, once you kind of get logged into the app, it's all right. The initial screen is kind of poor. And one problem I have with it is that it seems like people can't just download the app and subscribe right there. They have to buy uh, like on your mobile or on your uh, your actual sales page. So for us, they would, this is one of our vegan course we have launching. They would have to come up here and you know buy the app through our sales page. Uh, then be granted access to it, and then they can go and sign up with their login credentials, which is not the most convenient, but it is what it is, right? It's all stuff we can get around. So is it worth it? Overall, yes, I think it's worth it uh, if you are like us, and it just makes more sense for your business model to have an app. If your customers are asking for an app, for example, our disc golf program, we've got 15,000 students. We get a lot of requests for a mobile app, so it makes sense in that case. Just be aware that when you go through this process, these timelines they give are absolute BS. The communication is terrible. And you're probably going to end up redoing certain steps and you might feel a bit lost. The best case uh, or the best uh, advice I can say for you is just stay on them, right? Uh, they'll text you for the two factor authentication. So, you'll have a mobile number you can text them at and they'll email you. Bug the heck out of them. Put the heat on them, pressure them, let them know you're unhappy with the experience if it's gone in that direction. I did notice that when I started to put a little more pressure on them, they got more responsive. But as soon as I eased off on that pressure, they stopped responding. So overall, is it worth it? If it makes sense for your use case, yes, I think it is worth the headaches. Our app is live, so it did happen on Apple. We are still waiting on Google. It's not the cleanest. It's not the most efficient. It's not the most communicative. So just be aware of that. That's the real point I want to get across. It's worth it if it's something that would make sense for your business model. If it's not something that makes sense for your business model, I'd probably just wait until it gets more refined. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll keep you updated on anything else that happens. See you in the next video. Peace.